you know, when George W. Bush initially was, announced his appointment, it was Harriet Myers, somebody who nobody ever heard of, who was Bush's private attorney in Dallas or something. It's a crazy appointment. And the conservatives came together and told George W. Bush, no, no, we're not fighting for an appointment of somebody who we don't even know who they are. We don't need another David Souter. And he pushed back, he, he pulled her nomination and we got Sam Alito, the author of the Roe decision of the Dobbs decision. I mean, we have, you know, and then we've got three justices appointed by President Trump, but Senator Mitch McConnell, who, you know, gets a lot of grief from me and from others, and rightfully so, deserves a huge amount of credit. We have Amy Coney Barrett, who gets appointed in September of 2020, as confirmed by mid-October of 2020, and is on the court before the election, we have Kavanaugh, Brett Kavanaugh, who in the middle of the term, we all know what went on there and how the, how the left was so desperate to stop any appointee, and you know, I don't know why they hated Kavanaugh so much, but that they just made stuff up and scurrilously slandered him who endured an assassination attempt. Somebody came to his house with the intent of assassinating him just a month and a half ago. We have Ka Kavanaugh. And we have Neil Gorsuch, who, if the Democrats and Obama had had their way, would have been Merrick Garland, who we've seen perform so uh, horrifically as the Biden attorney general and now he would have been on the Supreme Court rather than Neil Gorsuch, if not for Mitch McConnell. Donald Trump had the courage to appoint justices who would by and large stand up for freedom. But Mitch McConnell had the guts and the political determination, the savvy and the skill to pull together his conference, which is hard to do, to stand firm and confirm those three justices, and as importantly, not confirm Merrick Garland in 2016. And folks, that is how we got the five votes, five of those six votes. Your vote for Congress matters. And for all the problems and all the concerns about Senator McConnell on a wide variety of things, Please understand that this victory, the, this court, is as much of his legacy as it was, as it is President Trump's. And those two things can't be lost as we deal with internal primary battles about who's going to be the nominee and stuff like that, which is important, very important. Just understand that today is a result of Mitch McConnell leading the Senate and convincing liberal Republican senators, some would call them rhinos, and I have too, many times too, to vote for jurists who would uphold the Constitution and do, no, do nothing more. That, my friends, is what victory looks like. It's what 40 years of work looks like. And so whether you just are 22 years old and you're just getting started in this, or you're 70 years old and you've been through battles your whole life, understand today is what victory looks like. This is Rick Manning, Americans for Limited Government. It's a great day. And if we don't talk tomorrow, have a fantastic 4th of July. This is the greatest country on earth. And let's just pray that God will help us keep it that way. Take care.